Welcome again. In previous tutorial, we have seen how to delete record with file. And in this tutorial, we will discuss uh, about a problem. And this problem actually arised, but we uh, don't, uh, we didn't uh, focus on it. But the problem is, uh, I actually create a delete all, uh, already given this tutorial on delete all. When I select this and click on this delete, it should be delete like that. So when I created this delete all and I have created a from and that is the from that I have created. So that is the from that I have created for delete all action. And you can see I also finished my from in here. So when I did this and I actually uh, also um, uh, created a wrong in here and that is when you go in here and reload your page and when you will cl click and delete try to delete your first record for example this is the first record i want to delete now so when i click on this you can see this notice when i click on okay you can see the it's not deleting so if you go and see the inspector element and the console log now try it again okay now try it again Let's see the console log here. Click on here and okay, you can see a type error document post is not undefined. So why actually this happened? This happened because we have used our post link inside a from. So this is the from and this is the end of from and we have created a post link in here. So if you go and see the CACPHP documentation, they in in the post link documentation this is the post link documentation and here catfishp has mentioned that be careful in uh, be careful to not put a post link inside an open from so in this situation you should use the block option catfishp given the block option because uh, i have to use this post link into the inside the from because i have to give this delete option in here for click and delete so there should be a uh, way to do this and for that hack page we given you, you the option called block option so how we can do this we have to just go in here and we have to give the uh, block true and it is it will be in this array not in this array there is a two array one is for the action and we have sent this user id and this is the another array for confirm and here we also can mention the method. So post link actually send you request to uh, so in method post method, and it's actually uh, like a from you are sending. If you go and see it in your uh, in a spectral element, click on here. You can see a hidden file in here, and the value uh, it's sending the post method. So this is actually sending the request using the JavaScript. So, so you have to just give here in here in second array, you have to mention this block option that will be true. Like that. So when you will create this block option true, then you can fetch this post link outside of your from. So you have to just give here in here. I'm just creating this echo. For example, I'm just giving this fetch, fetch, and uh, and here I'm giving the post link. I'm just mentioning the post link in here, like that. So after save, if you go and reload your page again, open your inspector element, go in your console. And then go and try to delete the first record. Click OK. You can see it has been deleted. So now you understand, understand, now you understood how you can create a post link inside a form. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next tutorial.